What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got a nail polish 101 video for you. And today we are talking about jelly. More specifically, today I'm partnering up with Cert Colors to show you guys how to make the perfect jelly sandwich. And we are actually talking about nail polish here, I promise. This is not a food related video. If you don't know anything about jelly nail polish, I did do actually a whole nail polish 101 video on it. So I'm gonna link that up in the cards. But basically the short version is that jelly nail polish Polish is an intentionally sheer colored nail polish that has a high gloss finish. So it actually looks like jelly. So since I gave you guys all the basics on jelly nail polish, how to identify it, how to wear it, I thought I would do another video on one of the most exciting ways to wear jelly nail polish, which is what is called a jelly sandwich. So basically we are sandwiching layers of jelly with another polish in between. And this does work best with glitters and toppers, but you can also experiment with doing different types of finishes. But let's go over the absolute basics. So this is the easiest formula to do. You can play around with it, but this is just the most basic version. So the formula goes, of course you want to have your base coat on, but number one is to do one layer of your jelly polish. Once that first layer is dry, you go in with your glitter or topper. You can do glitter placement or you can just paint it on normally and you let that dry as well. And then finally you finish off with a second layer of your jelly polish. And then of course, of course, you can do your glossy top coat or your matte top coat, whichever you're in the mood for. And the reason why this type of manicure is really cool is because you can create a really interesting type of manicure and it kind of creates this whole different finish. So it becomes this very multi-dimensional layered manicure. And the coolest part about this is that you can use the same glitter in multiple different jelly manicures and it can look completely different. So let me show you guys a quick example. So let's take this Polish XX from Cirque. It's this really beautiful holographic glitter. It has 20 different types of glitters in it and it is a topper. So if I pair this one in a jelly sandwich with their navy jelly, you can see it definitely has a very specific tone to it. So it feels like a deeper, more mysterious, kind of dark, wintry manicure, right? But I can take that same polish XX and I can pair that with linen, which is another one of their jelly polishes. This one is a sheer, almost white jelly. And if I pair it in a sandwich with that, it gives me a completely different vibe. This one feels very whimsical, very light, very springy. So using that same polish with different jellies can create a totally different effect. So I'm going to show you guys a few of the recommended combinations from Cirque. I'm also going to show you how the polishes can look totally different when you layer them with different jellies. But before we do that, I also want to show you guys a quick swatch of their latest Do Good polish. If you aren't familiar with Cirque, one thing that they do, they come out with these fundraising polishes called Do Good and 100% of the net proceeds of that polish go to different organizations and causes. And of course, those polishes, like all Cirque polishes, are 10 free, meaning they're free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that are often found in nail polish. They're vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. And they're cruelty free, meaning they do not test their polishes on animals. But yeah, they just came out with a brand new one called Far North. And 100% of the net proceeds of that polish go to the Alaska Conservation Foundation, which is the only public foundation that is solely dedicated to conservation in Alaska. So I'm going to have more information about that linked in the description, but let's get started with that swatch. Then we'll dive into all the jelly combinations. So roll the footage. Of course, I am using base coat, which I always do underneath swatches or anytime I am painting my nails, just protects the natural nail and prevents any stains. Today it is the Cirque base coat. So let me show you guys these swatches of the shade Far North, which is the do good polish for the Alaska Conservation Foundation. Foundation. And the color itself is really interesting. It's described as a sheer white nail polish with glistening rainbow shimmer and delicate holographic sparkle. So there's definitely a lot going on in here. The finish itself is actually like a frosty, icy, pearlized kind of finish. And it is a sheer polish, so you can decide how many coats you want to do for the amount of coverage that you want. Personally, I love the way that it looks in two coats. I think that is its peak. But I also wanted to show you guys what a third coat looks like. And there's definitely a a lot of shimmer and sparkle packed into this polish. Like I said, it has that rainbow shimmer running throughout. It also has a very subtle holographic sparkle. So any way you move your nail, it's gonna hit the light and sparkle really nicely. As you can see, even in three coats, you can still see a little bit of visible nail line depending on the angle. When the light is not directly hitting the polish, it can look like a sheer, which is what it is. So that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I personally love it in two coats. So now let me share with you guys 
some of the recommended combinations that Cirque has for some of their polishes. They do have a ton of really beautiful jellies, which I have reviewed, so I'll link that up in the cards. But first, let's talk about this really beautiful shade Marsala Jelly. It's a really beautiful, rosy, pink, sheer jelly polish, and it's recommended to combine this one with Crystal Tokyo, and I absolutely love this topper. So it's a rainbow of iridescent hex glitters that kind of shimmer different colors based on what you're wearing them over, and it's actually in a very, very light jelly pink base. So definitely perfect to pair over pinkier colors, but it's also really fun, honestly, to wear over anything. So when I put this into my jelly sandwich, you can see it really changes the whole feel of the polish. It looks like that Crelly formula, like somewhere between a cream and a jelly. And we have this multi-dimensional color going on here where you can see layers of glitter underneath the polish. And it really changes everything to be very warm. You see a lot of oranges and yellows, stuff like that. So it's really fun. So now just to give you a quick example of how a glitter topper can change based on what jelly you are sandwiching in, in between, I'm going to use this shade Navy Jelly. And this one, as you could probably guess from the name, is just a deep, almost grayed out slate blue jelly. So I'm just going to pair one coat of the Crystal Tokyo over it. And you can see already it definitely gives off a different vibe because the glitters in Crystal Tokyo are iridescent. They kind of change based on what you're putting them over. So over the blue, they give off a different color. And once I pair them together, it's just really fun. It definitely feels a lot darker. You get a lot more of those cooler tones coming through. Those golden glitters combine with the blue to almost look greenish. So it overall has a very cool, deep tone to it. So now let's take the Navy Jelly once again, and I'm going to show you guys it paired with XX, which is the example that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And I just figured I would give you a more in-depth look at how it looks on the nails. XX is actually probably my favorite topper that Cirque has ever done. There's just something so cool about it. I love these almost like pastel-y holographic glitters and there's so many different shapes and colors going on. It's really fun and you can just paint it on or you can do some placement. For me, I just felt like some areas were a little sparse on my nails so I just went back in and dabbed more glitter on but you can really do these sorts of jelly sandwiches with any type of glitter. So you can actually place individual glitters. You can even do like a glitter gradient but I absolutely love this combo to Together with the navy jelly. Again, it just kind of gives off like a dark, deep vibe. It softens out a little bit of that hollow, but you still see some of it coming through. It's just a really fun way to pair XX and it kind of just makes it feel like a different polish. So now I'm going to take the shade linen. This is the other example that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. I'm going to be pairing linen with XX just so you can see how vastly different the polishes look when they are paired with different jellies. And I think that's where the real fun of jelly sand sandwiches come in because as long as you have these polishes, you can create so many different combinations. It's just really fun to do. So again, I'm just kind of dabbing on the glitters wherever I want them to be on my nail. I think it'd actually be a lot of fun to do glitter placement with this. I'm just pairing that on and you can see as a topper, it really looks wildly different than it does in a jelly sandwich. Like this makes the nail look so loud, like a holographic sparkly party on the nails. But as soon as I go in with that that second coat of linen, it softens everything out. It looks like a very light, springy, pastel -y kind of color scheme. Again, that holographic pigment gets really softened out and you can really just see the colors of the glitters themselves. So you can see that gold, which looks almost yellow. You can see the blue. It looks almost like this very soft sky blue color and all of the silver looks white. So again, just really fun. So another one of the recommended combinations from Cirque is pairing the shade linen which is this almost white jelly with the shade Lullaby. And Lullaby is another really interesting topper from Cirque. It's definitely not like any other topper I have. And again, it's really packed with a bunch of different types of glitters and a bunch of different shapes. We've got like squares, we've got stars, we've got diamonds. So there's a lot going on in here and they are all these really soft colors. But the really cool thing about this one is it's actually this like satin sort of glitter. So it's not like a regular glitter. I, I don't even know how to explain 
explain it. It kind of just melts into the nail. So once I pair this with linen over it, it looks so soft and light. Again, it feels very springy. It feels almost like an Easter manicure. And I just think it's so delicate and different looking. I, I really enjoyed this combination. I thought it was a lot of fun. I keep saying that things are fun, but I just think jelly sandwiches in general are fun. So moving on to the next jelly sandwich recommendation. This color is called Cocoa Jelly and it's a really beautiful brown sheer jelly polish. I think it's actually really interesting because in the bottle it looks very dusty and like a softened version of that color, but because I have a very warm skin tone, it really warms up on my nails. So that's another fun thing about jellies. They kind of change based on your own undertones. So I'm going to combine this with the shade Nectar and this is a little bit different from the glitters that I have used so far. This is actually just like a really soft sparkly topper. So there's like these tiny, tiny little flecks of gold in here. So this is just a really great way to see that it doesn't just require glitters. I know not everybody is a fan of like big chunky glitter polishes. So even if you have a soft flaky or shimmery topper like this, it also pairs really nicely in a jelly sandwich and it makes it look like the polish itself is just a shimmery polish. So that's really cool. And then the final recommended pairing is the Cirque Colors Olive Jelly, which is a really beautiful green jelly polish. I know this kind of color is definitely hit or miss. Not everybody likes wearing these sort of ugly, pretty colors, but I just think it is so cool. I love playing around with this and experimenting with other colors in here. So I'm going to take the shade Sunkissed. Again, this is not necessarily a glitter topper. It's a flake topper. So you can see instead of those hex glitters, it's a bunch of irregular golden flakes. And this is another really fun way to kind of pair your jelly sandwiches because this is not technically a glitter, but it still creates this really interesting texture and finish to the polish. So again, it kind of looks like the polish was made with those flakies in there, which I think is just really cool. So here's a quick look at all of the combos that I've shared with you today. And of course, on the top left, we have the shade Far North, which I just put on its own. But this is also actually a fun polish that you can kind of experiment with as a jelly sandwich because it is a sheer. So there's really endless combinations. I feel like this video could have been hours long of me just showing you combinations with even just the five shears and the five toppers that I have here. So it's really a lot of fun. I highly recommend doing some experimenting. Even if you only have one jelly or one glitter topper, I think it's just a really fun way to kind of experiment. You can always even do a jelly and a topper over a cream finish to kind of create an even different sort of jelly sandwich. Honestly, the possibilities are just endless. So yeah, those are just a small example of some fun jelly combinations that you can do. And like I said, you can experiment with other finishes and pairing different polishes. One thing that I was thinking about trying is doing one jelly color as the base, then doing a glitter and then doing a different jelly color on top or doing multiple layers of glitter and jelly, or you can do combinations of stuff. Honestly, there's really endless possibilities. And I think it's just a really fun way to kind of revitalize your collection. You can use polishes that you already have and just do different combinations to basically create new polishes. So it's definitely a lot of fun. Highly recommend playing around. I'm curious if you guys have ever done any jelly sandwiches and if so, what are your favorite combinations? Which out of the ones I showed you you like the best? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. I do have a whole series on Nail Polish 101, which is just the absolute basics of nail polish. I have a whole playlist. I will link it up in the cards, but I'm always looking for new ideas for what to share for Nail Polish 101. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I also have a vlog channel called Kelly Immersive Vlogs. I'll also link that up in the cards, which is basically just like my day-to-day -day life, lifestyle, behind the scenes kind of situation. And I do a weekly live nail art stream on Twitch every Friday morning. So I will link that down in the description as well. Well, huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton Scott, and Rocketman's daughter. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Jean, and Jean wants to know who's in your Pokemon party right now? I always love when you guys give me Pokemon related questions because I could seriously talk about Pokemon for hours. So just for reference, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl just came out for the Switch and I have been playing it. I'm going very slowly through it. I'm very much savoring it. My starter Pokemon was a Piplup, so I do have Empoleon in my party. I have a Ponyta that I'm trying to evolve. I have a Rosalia or Roselia. I don't actually know the proper way to pronounce it and I feel like everybody says it differently but I can't find a shiny stone but I would really really like to evolve him. I have a Luxray. I've got a Crobat. I also currently have a Krikatoon which I don't really love having bug Pokemon on my team because I feel like they're pretty weak but I just haven't found the right Pokemon to replace him with yet. So yeah that is who is in my party right now. If anybody wants to share their party in that game or in any game that you're currently playing through let me know in the comments because I'm always curious how people curate their teams. Personally I do not like to have overlapping types. I like to have one of each type, preferably a dual type if possible, and no overlaps. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!